Okay, we're going to take this guitar and go through how to uh, take the strings off of it, clean it up, and restring it the right way, um, as we would if we were to get it in here here for repair or uh, whatever. So this is something you can do at home pretty easily if you have the right tools. Uh, you can get uh, let me grab this. You can get one of these from a music store for about a dollar fifty. This is a string winder. Um, this basically unwinds the string, but here at Tough Break we don't use those, we use these because we do about a hundred of these a day. So We're taking the tension off of the string. You never want to just cut a string off without taking the tension off of it. So. All the tensions off the strings now, so we're going to cut them off. Uh, you can cut them off or you can pull the bridge pins out and just remove them. Um, we typically just cut them off because it's quicker. So, and I hold the string up to kind of protect the. Uh, there's that. Get all the strings off of here. You can do this however you want to. This is how I do it. Strings are off. Okay, now getting the bridge pins out. Um, if you purchase one of these, uh, you'll notice that there's an indention here in the end of it that's actually used to pull bridge pins. The way you would use this, and this is what we'll do, you take it and you wedge it under the bridge pin and you just pop it out like so. And that actually popped out a little bit faster than I thought it would. You can do this. If you ever come watch us do it, you'll see that we use these dikes here. Pretty much the same idea. We use our thumb as a cantilever to pop the pins out so that we don't have to put any marks on the bridge. We don't want to mar the bridge any. So we actually use our thumb and that takes it out a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. String winder works. Sometimes it doesn't work 100%. And if you have to, if you have to really get on the bridge pin, sometimes there's not enough pressure with this. So the strings are off. We like to take the preliminary amount of dust off of the guitar before we start polishing it because if there's anything on the guitar when you polish it, it'll scratch the finish up, which is a big no-no. We're going to see this again here in just a minute. Uh, we want to clean the fingerboard. We use 4 aught steel wool, 4 zero, 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 zero steel wool to uh, take some of the grime off of this fingerboard. Um, you're going to want to go with the grain like this and you're just kind of lightly, you're not trying to rip the wood off, you're just trying to kind of get the initial gunk off. Uh, if you bring your guitar to us, we can actually uh, do a really good job with this and we can polish the frets, which is something we're not going to go into because it's a bit time consuming. Um, a bit tedious. But uh, anyway, so now you have some shavings on your guitar. Uh, when you do this, you want to make sure that you're getting rid of the shavings. So I get the guitar off the bench and real lightly just kind of get all that crap off of there. Stuff. Sorry. Stuff, not crap. Alright. So that's all off. We use lemon oil to treat the fingerboard. And you don't have to do this every time. This is something that we do with our, for our customers, but this is not something that you should do every time you uh, string your guitar. Get a little bit on the bridge. And this is something you could let this sit for hours and hours and let it soak in if you wanted to, uh, to actually condition the wood. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to clean it off a bit. When that's done, we're going to use some polish. We use uh, Woodley's Fine Furniture Polish. Uh, they sell this at Jack's Music. Uh, Jack's is the only place in Arkansas you're going to find this stuff. 
We actually get it sent to us from a furniture store in Colorado. And it's really good stuff. It cleans the finish and polishes it without harming the, uh, the lacquer top coat, which is very important. You don't want to use just any polish on these instruments, especially if it's uh, nitrocellulose lacquer, which most of the fine instruments are. So I get it on there. You know, you can let this sit for a while. It actually does lift the uh, dirt off of the guitar um, the longer you let it sit. And then you just kind of, you know, polish it off. This is about the best workout that I get in a given day. So try to enjoy it. And you can go as crazy. Uh, with this as you want to. You can do the whole guitar. If you bring your guitar to us, the entire guitar is going to be clean and polished. Um, and you're going to love the way it looks. You get this. This is a cool little Blue Ridge. It's an import, but it's a pretty cool little guitar. Now, the other thing we do here is we go through and make sure these tuners are tightened. Once again, we do this here. You can do that if you want to at your house. Just be really careful not to over tighten. You'll actually break the finish around the tuner and then you have big issues. And you'll pay us lots of money to fix it. But we can fix it.